So I went to Facebook, and the moment that I remember the most, which plays so heavily into what Bandits of New York is, is that I had developed this good rapport with a recruiter. And she and I would talk a lot about just life, like learn a lot about my son, I learned a lot about her as she was getting married. And when I signed the offer to go to Facebook, she actually sent me a care package, right? So FedEx or UPS comes, buzz as I go down, get this package, come walking upstairs, right? Have this big box, like a typical kind of like department store box. And what is in this? And I open it up and there's a handwritten note. And it says, dear Tim, can't wait to have you join the Facebook family. See you in a few weeks. Open it, oh, and, and PS, I hope these hoodies fit your son. So I open it up, and there's a hoodie for me and a hoodie for my son with like the Facebook and Instagram logo on it. Game changing. It is my narrative now as I present Ben from New York and we'll get to that. Um, but it was just game changing. I was like, nobody ever did that for me. Nobody ever did that. I had gotten swag before. We've all gotten swag. I can open up my drawer right now and look at so many LinkedIn t-shirts, right? Stress balls, notebooks, all that kind of stuff. But that was different. That was a different type of thought level. And I remember asking her, I was like, hey, does this happen for everybody? I was like, I know I'm not that unique. And she's like, yeah, no. She's like, we, it's part of our process and what we do. And I was like, that's incredible. That is an incredible experience that you offer people. So I was like, kudos to you. Facebook was an amazing experience and it was probably the most challenging I'd ever had in my life. It was a completely different business line. I'd never led sales training before. Um, you know, completely different you know, business, right? Going from software and selling LinkedIn to the advertising space. But I learned a lot. And I thought that the best role that I could play was to open up doors for the team that I had. Because the team that I had, they were incredible. I mean, some of the best you know, program developers, trainers, everything. And I learned a lot about vendor management and vendor relationship. And I learned a lot about what good onboarding looks like. Um, and let's, again, to me, yeah. Yeah, let's talk about that. So yep. you're in Facebook. I know you went through a whole process of revamping the onboarding process. Tell us about that. Tell us how you did it. Tell us what the mindset is. And walk us through a little bit of that journey of what the method was and what the process was as you started going through it. Some of the things you need to nail if you're going yep. to go through and revamp your onboarding process. Yeah, it was interesting because, you know, when I joined, the onboarding was kind of, it was cool, right? Onboarding at Facebook was, you know, twice a month, people from all over the world flying in, people being hired, you know, in the hundreds, right? And all different walks of life in terms of roles, engineers, marketing, recruiters, sales, everything. So it was a lot of information. It was Facebook. But I'll never forget, you know, day one, you walk in. And I mean, strategic as this is, it was just brilliant. Chris Cox is like one of the top 15, you know, starters at Facebook. And this guy is one of the best public speakers I've ever seen. And he came up on stage and in front of us and just gave us kind of like, not rah, rah speech, but this very real speech. And I remember sitting there being like, holy cow. Like, this guy is good. Like, I was inspired 20 minutes in. And, you know, and you should be, right? Like, you're starting this brand new company, but it's like, it's crucial, right? To success at a company, you know, if you have a flat start, you know, it's hard to really go up. But if you have a high start, I mean, you're going up, man. You are not going to decrease from that. Obviously, up to the company to maintain that level. But when you start high versus starting at, like, the flat ground level, I mean, it's just, there's nothing better. So I remember going through that and being in this training as, like, a new hire with all these different people that were in New York as well, out in Menlo Park for this training. And be like, oh, wow, this is really cool. You know, it's a really good job. The team does a really nice job with execution. We bring in all these different speakers to talk about the different business lines and what's important. Um, and I was really impressed by that. And again, not having been in training, I was like, this is really cool. I haven't spoken in front of a lot of audiences and lots of different things. I was like, this is, you know, well done. Um, so over the course of time, you know, there's two different types of onboarding and training, right? There's like role specific. And then there's like the, you know, that first kind of couple of days where it's like everybody brings together, comes to HQ, goes to this amazing experience, this amazing, you know, kind of setup of offices. And you know, some of the reps in the team, as we started to like, you know, float our team together and piece it together to be what it would be from a training dynamic on the sales side, had such incredible ideas. And a lot of it was, let's bring in the best of the best that we can, right? Get in the best speakers that Facebook has, bring in people that are just inspiring and this and that and make it like an actual experience. And we did, like it took some time to build it out, but we got to this place where we had some of the best known people at Facebook coming in and wanting to welcome in folks, you know, all inspired by like the folks that we had heard from in the very beginning. And it just became very different, right? It was like, look, you're coming to this and you were going to walk away, blown away. And that was the goal, right? And I mean, the team that had worked on it um, was just lights out, like some of the best, you know, in terms of how they thought about it, who they went after, who they got. So the idea was like, look, if people are coming in on day one, are they coming into something, I mean, they're already excited, right? So you, you can't mess that up. And your goal is to take it to a next level. So for us, it was like, what can we do that's different? Can we revamp the process? Can we, you know, do we go through the history? Do we do this? We talked about what separates mid-market and enterprise, all that kind of good stuff. Why the verticals, why they exist. Um, but it was really like, look, let's bring in some of the best and make it fun because they're going to work the rest of their time here. But if they walk out of here and they are absolutely lit and ready to go, then we did our job. 